Hello! Here's a good summertime project. It's a cup holder made to mount onto a lawn chair. Now I had a few tries at building the cup holder portion of this, but I really couldn't improve on this store-bought version. And this is something that I got at Canadian Tire. It's made by Type S. I think it was about five bucks. And I think it's made so you hang it on your car door like this. So to use it for a lawn chair, I had to build this part to hold it and this mount assembly. What I like about this one is it'll hold a big cup and it also holds in bottles and cans. So I'm going to start off by cutting, uh, cutting a few pieces of wood. But first I'm going to clear this other stuff away, including this nice cold unopened beer. I'm going to be using power tools, so I think I'll hold off on the beer for now. I want to take a moment to show you my improved safety glasses. The other day I was using my jigsaw, and I had my head bent over like this to watch the cut. Because there's a space between my cheek and the bottom of these lenses, the dust was coming up and getting in my eyes. Now I've got this type of goggle, and that solves that problem, but I find the glasses a lot more convenient. So what I did was stuck on some pieces of weather stripping. I just cut a few pieces to different lengths and contoured it a little bit. So now when I have these on, there's no more space at the bottom of the lens. They seem to work pretty good. So here's all the parts. I got a piece of three quarter inch plywood that's three and a half inches by four inches. Another piece of three quarter ply that's two and a half inches by inch and a quarter. I got a piece of half inch plywood that's three and a half inches by six inches, and two pieces of half inch plywood that are two and a half by two and a quarter. I've got a quarter inch U bolt. It's about inch and a half wide and about two inches long quarter inch carriage bolt that's inch and a half long, one quarter inch fender washer, three quarter inch flats, three quarter inch wing nuts, five number eight by one inch flathead wood screws. Oops, make that seven number eight by one inch screws, not five. I've also got this shorter screw, it's a number eight by half, and a little number ten washer. It's an optional feature. I'll show you what it's for later. Another option is a piece of mouse pad. Now this is to make a holder to fit this Type S. If you can't find this exact thing, you can probably find something else in the store that will work for you. Then you'll just have to change these dimensions to fit what you have. I need to drill some countersunk holes for the number 8 wood screws. These two parts fit together like this. So I need two screw holes here. These other pieces fit together something like this. So each piece is going to need a couple of screw holes. Because I don't want the screws meeting up in the middle of this piece, I'm going to adjust the spacing a little bit different between this one and this one. Put them three-eighths of an inch up, and I think about three-quarters of an inch in should be good. Three-eighths and one-half for this one. And we'll go three-eighths and three-quarters for the other one. This piece also needs a hole for the quarter-inch carriage bolt. We're going to put a half an inch down, and that's down from the other end from where we drilled the screw holes. Half an inch down and centered inch and three-quarters in from the side. One of these pieces gets a slot cut into it. So I want to start off by marking a point one inch down and centered. This is two and a half, so it'll be centered an inch and a quarter. Once I got that point marked, I'm going to start by drilling a hole. Now I want to make the slot a little bit wider than one quarter. So you can use five sixteenths. It's a little bit big, but that's fine. I think I'm going to use a nine thirty seconds drill bit to drill the hole. Once I got the hole drilled, I'll use this square to draw a couple of lines even with the edges of the hole. And then I'll go cut the slot out. For that, I think I'll use the bandsaw. There, that looks pretty good. This other piece gets the holes for the U-bolt. I'm going to mark them three quarters of an inch up from this edge. 
That's the other edge from where these screw holes are. This measures inch and a half from the outside to the outside. This is two and a half. So that means there's going to be a half inch of space on each side to where the hole is. This is quarter inch thick, so we'll add another eighth. So that means I'm going to mark the holes five eighths of an inch in from each side and three quarters of an inch up. When I drill them though, I don't want them to bind on this at all. So I'm going to drill five sixteenths holes. This base piece needs one screw hole in it. And it's going to be two and a half inches from the back edge, whichever side you figure to be the back. This piece of plywood I got, I found I got a void here, so I'm going to put that to the back. So it's going to be two and a half inches from the back and centered, which will be inch and three quarter. And this is a non-countersunk hole. I've got one more screw hole to drill, and that's the hole for this little half inch long screw. Now what the purpose of this is, so these two parts go together like so. You tighten up the wing nut. Now what this screw does is it keeps this from popping off accidentally. I'm going to mark where this hole goes on the other side from where I've got the countersink drilled. I'm just going to take this number 10 washer and put it so it's about half an inch down and I'll just line it up with the edge of the slot. And that's where I'll make the screw hole. Now for this one, I think I'm going to drill a 1 8 hole. Because it's so close to the edge of this, I don't want it to split. There. I even managed to stop before I drilled through to the other side. I like to round over the corners on all these parts. Now if you don't have a power sander, just take some sandpaper and soften up the points a little bit. On this piece here, I'm going to round over these two corners. That's down on the end where the bolt hole is. This base piece, I'll round over these two front corners. That's the end that's closest to where I drilled this screw hole. This piece here that has the holes for the U-bolt, I'll round off these corners. And on this piece, I'll round off these two corners at the end where the slot is. Now whenever I do this, I just like to take my quarter inch fender washer and use that to mark some lines so that it all looks even when I'm done. So there's the parts rounded over. Before I put them together, I'm just going to give everything a, a nice sanding to get rid of rough spots and any stray pencil marks. There's the assembled pieces. So now the time has come to cut this hook off of this cup holder. I like to leave about an inch of this on there, like I did with this one. That gives a handy place to grip it so you can adjust where the slot is for the handle of a hook. So this steel ruler is an inch wide, so I'm just going to use that to mark it. To cut this off, you could use a knife. You could even try scissors if you had something that was heavy duty enough. I think I'm going to use the bandsaw. So first I'll have to make a cut through here to get rid of this part. I left a little space, so now I'll sand it to the line. I'll finish it up with a little hand sanding to soften these corners and smooth everything off. If you find you got little bits of plastic fur sticking up, if you take a lighter and carefully run it around the edge, that usually takes care of those pretty good. Just be careful. Lastly, I need to drill a screw hole through the bottom of this. It's kind of tricky because uh, we need to support this somehow, so I'm just going to stick a board in it like this. Give me something to drill against. Before you do any more assembly, you want to give these pieces a couple of coats of clear polyurethane. Now, anything you have will do, but use outdoor if you got it. Also, I would recommend taking this screw out first. As you can see on this one here, this is where I put a little strip of that mouse pad. And what that does, this is going to clamp onto the leg of the chair, and that helps it grip on there a little more securely. So if you put the polyurethane, you maybe want to sand that a little bit. Or you could try and leave a strip there bare. And then stick the mouse pad on afterwards with a piece of two-sided tape.
The three flat washers go on here to act as a spacer, then the cup holder, and then the fender washer and the screw. And we'll put it in there so it's tight enough that it isn't sloppy, but it's so it's still able to move. The carriage bolt goes in this hole. To install it on a chair, you just position the mount on the leg of the chair and slip the U-bolt in from the other side. And you tighten up the wing nuts. And once you have that positioned how you want it, you just pop on the cup holder and tighten up that other wing nut. You're ready to go. The cup holder should mount on any kind of chair like these but it won't work on this kind of chair. Most chairs can be folded up with the mount still attached to them. But it's best to remove the cup holder portion and store that separately. I also have this unit that I made for using the cup holder over the arm of a couch or a chair. The cup holder comes in handy for picnics and camping trips or just sitting around the backyard. They also make nice gifts for family and friends. Thanks for watching.